So hi everyone, I'm going to do a get and ready with me, take my makeup off my evening skincare routine video with you. So if you'd like to see what I use to look after my skin at the age of 35, then keep watching. I'm really, really hopeful that I'll be able to get this done without too many interruptions because it is obviously like nearly bedtime in our house um, and I will normally do this around this time of night, it's about seven o'clock um, and I will take my makeup off as soon as I'm able to. So first things first, headband. I have quite a few of these, some are from eBay, I've got some from TikTok shop, um, I've got a pink one, Daisy's got a Daisy one um, and I've got a emerald green as well but they're so useful um, just to keep everything out my face and I don't know, they make me feel special. I like that. So what we're gonna do first is like, this is the state of my face makeup on, kind of worn off a bit throughout the day, not looking my finest, but we're gonna fix that. And I have to say, the older that I'm getting, the more I really do appreciate like my bare face. So I'm gonna show you two cleansers to begin with that I've really, really enjoyed at the moment. And it's kind of hard to pick a favorite to be honest. But one is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm, which this is my third of this, I think. And then I've got the uh, Beauty Crop Avocado Cleansing Balm. And this is my second. This is 50 ml and this, is 150 mil so cost per use i probably have to pick this one if i was forced to choose um this is new but i'll open it for you it's very deceiving it's huge packaging but you don't get that much product what i will say though is that you don't need loads it comes with a little lid like this and a spatula on it and you basically take a little bit of this out and massage it onto your face it turns into a kind of oil I would say whereas the inky list one is kind of more creamy and it comes out quite thick and that's the one I'm going to use today purely because it's very accessible for people to get their hands on you can get this on ASOS so if you've got Premier it's great because you could order it and then it'd be here tomorrow um but it looks <laughs> I'm running low and unfortunately because of my arthritis I find it really hard to squeeze um but can you see the consistency there it's kind of oily, waxy almost, um, but very soft, dissolves really easily on the skin and just straight away you can see, I mean don't get me wrong, I've got a good colour match on my skin so you won't see too much, but it just dissolves everything really quickly. I'm going to get a tiny bit more um, and I'm just going to start working out all over my face um i've got quite a bit of mascara on today i was in the mood for a lot of mascara <laughs> um but you can see i'm not like pressing super hard i'm not really having to work and i look like a panda and i just love this it's so uh, it's so gentle and it just does such a good job and a little goes a really long way like getting all this mascara off is just a dream and then obviously when I'm happy with how everything's coming off that was really creepy right can I tell you a story and you promise you won't laugh at me I told a few of my friends right so that light flickered and behind you which is lighting me up is a backlit mirror that when we decided to have the uh, ensuite added at the advice of our architect at the time when we were planning the extension um mark was like the one thing i want is a really really good backlit mirror can you see all of that the way it's taking my makeup off and I was like, yeah, whatever. I'm not really that fussed about the ensuite. I'm more of a kitchen gal. So I was like, you pick what you want. Like we can go for the kind of style you want in there, whatever, that's cool. Um, so that's what we did. He picked this backlit mirror. Has a touch screen. Well, not screen, but like this touch sensitive. So you can turn it on and off. And um, when we first got into <laughs> the bathroom, um, 
When I was in bed late at night, right, I'm just using a hot flannel. You see that? You can get these from Ikea, you can get them from Amazon, you can get them from supermarkets. I like a flannel because of the texture. So I'm going to use this just to take everything off. I mean, look at that. Isn't that great? But back onto my thrilling story. Every time I was in the bedroom late at night on my own, and it's just been fitted by the way, so it should be all in perfect working order. I'm like, newer than new, the first people to ever use it. Ooh, wow, I've never had that before. And um, I'd be sat in bed and it'd flicker. It'd come on and off, on and off, on and off. And I'd be like, Mark, this is really creeping me out. It would never do it for him, only for me. And, um, and this is gonna sound bonkers, but Ever since I've come up with my antidepressants, like it stopped, he looked at it and it, it stopped. Ever since I've come up with my antidepressants, now I've started doing it again and it's like, <laughs> I know it's probably just a glitch and maybe something's come loose at the back, but you know, he like timing, Jesus. Um, but as you can see, that has come off so nicely. Um, but the step that I think is really important here is a bit of a double cleanse. Now, some people will go in with the same product again. Um, others will go in with a completely different cleanser but for me personally I think that's when the cost really starts to add up and don't get me wrong like I'll invest in skincare because it's important to you me um, but I don't want to be I don't want to be overdoing it so the product that I go in with next is have a cabinet on the wall next to me by the way that's full of skincare um the CeraVe blemish control cleanser I like this one and I also like the foaming cleanser that they do I wouldn't say <laughs> anyway I wouldn't say that um I really I can't even have lost my train of thought. That literally made me freeze. Um, I wouldn't say that I necessarily need the blemish control cleanser because my, I feel like the mirror's like, yeah, you do. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the rightiest of them all? Anyway, I'm gonna put this on my face now. My face is still slightly dark. And I'm gonna use this as my second cleanse because a survey holy grail brown and so good and um, but be a facial wash facial cleanser like that that foams and um, is always good to have in no for no makeup days washing your face in the morning and it's a dual product whereas i see a lot of routines that feature two different types of cream cleansers and then they go on to a facial wash and I just don't always know if that's necessary. Um, as long as your face is as clean as it can be, you're onto a winner. So that's all I do there. And I use the same flannel just to wipe it down, making sure I get the neck. And then this flannel goes straight in the wash. I only use one per time so if I wash my face in the morning I would use a different one to what I would use at night um, and obviously I use a fresh one every day and I keep them in my cupboard like rolled up and I just grab one and go so that is my fresh face and then now I will go on to an AHA or a BHA acid so I have two to show you one is one is probably more of my favourite at the moment and one is one that everybody seems to use but Paula's Choice BHA Liquid Exfoliant with Salicylic Acid, that's 2%. This, generally speaking, BHA is more geared towards sort of blemishes and pores and cleansing and clearing out your pores and stuff whereas AHA, uh, this is the Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily tonic um i love the packaging i love the name <laughs> what can i say um but this is more about like skin texture and resurfacing and rejuvenating um so i tend to keep this one for like breakouts i started with this 
and then as I learnt more I progressed onto this however what I will say is that when I'm having breakouts which I have got some let's get really close so you can see because it's all normal um I am starting my period right now and these came a couple of days ago so that and that um and I'll probably get a few popping up because hormones are hormones it's normal don't worry about it um but this would be really good for that and then this would be more what i would use day to day so what i'm actually going to do i wouldn't recommend mixing them and going over the skin twice with each um but i think i might spot treat my chin and then use the rest on the rest of my face so i have cotton pads you can use reusable ones i've not got many of these i probably need more um because I run out of them too quickly compared to my face cloths or you can use obviously normal cotton pads um, which I'll just use today just because I'm splitting the products but I'm going to take a bit of the why does it keep doing that? that was really creepy oh my god so I'm going to take a bit of the Polish Choice on a cotton pad and just sweep that across my chin because she's congested she's not happy there we go and then i'm going in with the ren ready steady glow on a separate cotton pad and that's going to go all over the rest of my face but i'm just avoiding my eyelids and obviously the area that i've already done um i mean to be honest my skin's quite used to these products so i probably wouldn't react too badly and that's the thing with introducing acids and um, retinols and things like that to your skin is that you want to take it slowly um, but in the end your skin will work up to it and I just I'm really happy with my skin for my age um, and things like that it's not perfect by any means and I'm trying to sort of age gracefully and just embrace the fact that I'm here for another day and I'm getting wrinkles and stuff but um, I'm really happy with the way that my skin is at the moment so next up we're going to go in with some hydration now something that I'm trying recently which I've not like fully committed to my skincare routine because I'm testing products out all the time just because I guess I'm curious and I enjoy it and um, be sometimes I'm looking to be sent things like I get a lot of bits from Garnier which are great but I'm going to keep it really basic tonight so I can show you just what I've been using on a really regular basis without adding too much in um, but this is the Nature Spell Pure Glycerin vegetable derived and it works in a very very similar way to hyaluronic acid and this is a serum from the Inky List if I had to pick a favourite skincare Brand at the moment it'd be a toss up between CeraVe and the Inky List because I just love them both but these are just really really good at locking in the skin especially when your skin might still be a little bit damp people you can put pure glycerin on your face as is a lot of people tend to mix it with rose water and spray it on but if I use this I'll often dampen my skin with the rose water and then go in with that at the same time um, but I just thought it would be like you know give you an option there because they're quite large and obviously go a lot further but what I'm actually going to go with is the Inculist Hyaluronic Acid and I'm not putting tons on you don't need loads and loads but I am just gonna sort of gently press that massage that into my skin Ta -da. so I'm going to give that a few seconds to go in to the skin and then I've got some retinol eye cream from the Inca List as well and then I'm going to follow up with some actual retinol and then finally a moisturiser. Now if you are new wish to skincare, I, I'm still learning all the time because I probably only started really investing in my skincare when lockdown hit really Um, because well we had nowhere to go so I wasn't really wearing makeup so I got more interested in skincare instead but I'm just going to dab this on my under eyes and let that soak in I have like genetic like hereditary dark circles I've always been quite sallow when it comes to my under eye area so I can't really do much in terms of skincare to sort of fix those dark circles but I try I try and keep them hydrated anyway so that's on and then to match with that I'm going in with the retinol serum and what I really enjoy about Inky List is that on the back of the products it will actually give you an order to put them in so I don't know about you but a lot of brands that I use that's really annoying a lot of them there are so many different products 
and then you're looking at them and you're like yeah but when do I use these what do I use these for what do they do how do I use them and they actually say on the back of <laughs> the packet which is just brilliant <laughs> um, and it really really helps you learn and like work out what is good for your skin now retinol um, can be something that people will sometimes react to but the inky list um, is not too strong so it's a good starter one to start with have a go of and um, I'm just sticking with it because it works really well for my skin but that is where I'm at and then finally I will go in with some hydration so the cream I use will often depend on the time of year because when my skin's really bad and very dry Walida will come out to play I've got those left over from the winter which I'll keep for this winter but another one that I'm trying at the moment which was actually sent to me from Ren I bought the Ready Steady Glow but um, they sent me a few products since and this is the Ren Ever Calm and it's an overnight recovery balm so if you've got reactive skin sore skin, sunburnt skin skin that's just feeling super dry that is great I've used it quite a few times and it's so nourishing and then my go-to and she's hefty is the CeraVe moisturising lotion and I put a pump of this on and again just massage that into my face and sometimes I'll put that on sorry couldn't hear me then sometimes i'll put that on and um then later on at night if i'm still feeling quite dry um i might put this on before bed just for an extra like boost of hydration because i have noticed as i've gotten older that my skin is showing signs of just being a bit dry which is very normal um as your skin starts to age so that is a very like straightforward version of my skincare like my day-to-day -day. obviously i've got other products that i have got like to try out or other things that i'll add in at certain times of the month or year or whatever and um, but that's like very pared down and what i'll do day to day without thinking about it too much but yeah i'm happy with my skin at the moment obviously like i'm 35 i'm showing signs of aging and my skin is not perfect but i feel like generally speaking it's quite clear it's quite fresh it's quite glowy and obviously it's mainly down to those products i think um because i've not really changed much else <laughs> um but i hope you found that useful i'll leave everything linked down below if you've got any questions or products you want me to give my thoughts on or test out if i've not already tested them before or whatever then let me know but otherwise i hope you found this useful and yeah have a lovely rest of your day whatever you're up to <laughs>